Hello everyone, this is Richard Sispidus Medcat Sphere, and I just want to upload a video to talk about how you can go about understanding hydrokinesis and the elements of water and the and the best ways that you can go about connecting with water and controlling water with your mind and body and your spirit. And this is for um anyone that wants to get into um controlling and and being interwoven deeply with with water itself but specifically this is for uh, Pisces Cancer and Scorpio since they're uh, water um, astrological um, signs that are connected to it now what I mean by reading water is by watching how it flows watching intentively how it flows how it moves paying attention to the to the every aspect of how it looks while it's while it's in motion in this reality and what it is that when you're looking into water you're watching all the ripples all the nuances all the all the subtleties like i said in my other um videos everything in the world around you is connected to you and when you're reading water that's basically what it is that it's like it's like reading a book you're reading your reality you're reading your world the water has all these types of little uh, subtle nuances, all these ripples, and all those things, they're the bubbles, um, everything about it, how it bends and everything and moves around objects or rocks. Those are all, I guess you could say, words. Words that are not spoken but only felt. You could observe them, observe them very closely. As you can see this video, just observe the video very closely. Observe the water. Go to a lake or something like that, or go to a beach, or find a place where you can look at water, how it flows and how it moves around, you know, and just sit. You don't have to, it's not going to be immediately. What it is is that when you're reading water, you're reading, you're allowing to perceive deeper within yourself, and you're connecting with the water at the same time. Many people may not know this, but people who practice with water already know that the water is already intuitive to you. It's already feeling you. It's already aware of your presence. It has such small molecules that the vibrations of your body, your heart, of the nerves, of the blood flow through your, vein, your veins, the neurological um, um, activities in the brain, it's reading every aspect of you. And what it is is that it's like a mirror reflection every little vibration that you see in, in the water is um, uh, uh, basically you it's mimicking and reflecting back your life um, presence back at you like a mirror looking deep at it this will allow you to connect deeper with it this will allow you to be able to control it because every little subtle nuance of the water is you you may not know it, but every motion is you. Every motion that you see is, is coming from you. That's how you can grow to be more adaptive to water and allow yourself to control it more better. And to and like I said in my other video, in the Nelson's Method video in the front, front of my channel, I talk about how it can re read you and feel you. And that you're able to control an, uh, a, a can or a cup that's floating on it. And it's all by just being patient in observing the motion of the water the water will vibrate by itself when you sit it on a table or because of wind out if it's outside or because you know the waves and things like that but when you're still and you're quiet and you have it controlled like in the house like I said you're able to create the waves you're able to create the ripples that then affect the cup or can that's floating on it and to have total control of this object that's floating on it and it's more easier than a side wheel. It's much more responsive water, especially when you heat it up. Like I said in my tutorial, go and look at it. The water is very intuitive. It feels you. It wants to be with you. It wants to be a part of you. You just have to understand, just read it and observe it closely. When you're working with water, the water is already following your intention. It's already aware of what you want to happen, what you want to occur. 
what you want uh, this to affect that, how this is supposed to move. It already wa knows what you want. The only thing you need to do is just be in tune with it. And the only way to do that is to be aware of yourself. Feel yourself. Be conscientious of your body, of where you're at. Be in the here and now. Everyone says that in psychokinesis, even um, Obi Kinesis, be in the here and now. Trevor Seven says that. When you have a cup floating on the water, once you follow my tutorial, you'll, you'll understand. And you're a few feet away, just be aware of yourself. The water will then make that cup float towards you without any work at all. You just have to be you, be alive. It doesn't require that much work. That's why I say it's better than, than a side wheel. It's more effective. It feels you. It wants to connect with you. Just be aware of yourself. The water will understand what you want and make it happen. Follow the tutorial. Watch my videos. Learn. Now here's some relaxing ocean sounds and visuals. Think about what I said. God bless.